Hey everyone, it's Naomi. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am sharing a bookish gift guide with you, and it is comprised of my favorite nonfiction books that kind of relate to natural beauty and lifestyle and a few decor things sprinkled in. I think that these would be great books to gift to anyone in your life, uh, especially women who are interested in living a natural, green, eco type lifestyle. And uh, you might find a couple gifts in here to buy for yourself too. First up is Botanical Style by Selena Lake. This is one of my favorite books from this year, and I wish that I could basically turn every room in my home into a room from this book. It has a really cool, um, kind of like two-thirds um, dust jacket, only goes up that much, and I just adore every aspect of this book. It is basically inspiration for decorating with nature, plants, florals, and she goes by section um, so there's like a vintage type section, a modern section, a dark and moody floral section. I'll just do a quick flip through here so you can get an idea. I literally just want to live in like every picture in this book. There are a lot of fun style tips in here, so not just great photos, but she does describe, you know, ways to achieve these types of looks in your home. And there are even little DIY tutorials for things that you can make. I just, this is my favorite type of style, and I could look at this book all day. Next is Herbal Goddess by Amy Jersa, and this is uh, something I actually did a review of on the blog earlier this year. I will link that down below. I think I reviewed Botanical Style also. I'll, anything that I reviewed specifically on the blog at an earlier date, I will link down below. This book is split up into 12 chapters focusing on 12 specific herbs, and um, she teaches how to make teas, potions, salves. Um, how to integrate them into your food, even some yoga positions that relate to each specific herb. Those herbs are chamomile, rose, dandelion, lavender, turmeric, echinacea, um, holy basil, nettle, calendula, elderflower, cinnamon, and ginger. Amy Jersa is a master herbalist and yoga instructor and I just absolutely adored this book. I love having it in my collection and it is a beautiful way to learn some basics about herbs. Speaking of incorporating more plants into your daily life, which I think everyone needs more of, this is a new release by Katie Hess. It is called Flower Evolution, and it's also photographed by Louis Schwartzberg, who is an amazing, amazing flower photographer. He's known for his slow motion uh, videos of flowers blooming and it's just amazing work. And so they teamed up to create this book. And Katie Hess is the owner and uh, creator of Lotus Way. She's a flower alchemist. And this is a book about, as it says on the top, blooming into your full potential with the magic of flowers. If you aren't familiar with Lotus Way, they create flower elixirs and a lot of other really amazing products that uh, deal with flower essences. And they are truly transformative. I have tried a couple of their products and can say from experience I especially love the Joy Juice. She wrote this book to share her knowledge of flowers and what they can do and um, really this book is set up in a way so that you can kind of follow your own intuition uh, when it comes to flowers. There are parts in the book where you can fill out little questionnaires to help you along your journey and she recommends starting by just kind of letting your gut tell you what to do and you know seeing which flowers are you drawn to and just go with it and then whatever one you're drawn to that day you look it up there's specific sections for each flower throughout the book and each section will tell you what the flower is good for and um, you know why it's special what it reveals about you and what the elixir uh, catalyzes what it can do for you i'll give you a little example here um, pink primrose i just randomly flipped to that one so we'll go with that one um, it dissolves fears resistance hesitancy holding back perceiving things as a chore feeling unprepared stuck or stagnant it magnifies effortless and eases uh, ideas and action, fearless, readiness, sense of being called to action, creativity, thinking outside the box, and innovation. 
So that is just a little snippet of uh, what you will find in this amazing, amazing, beautiful book. I have only skimmed the surface of this. I just got this recently. I'm in love with it so far and highly recommend you check it out. This is a beautiful thing to gift anyone who is looking to transform their life through plants. And I think if everyone had a copy of this book, the world would be a truly better place. The next book is called A Wilder Life. You're probably recognizing a theme here. Yes, I love plants. And I think it's so important to get in touch with nature and really, um, by doing so, get in touch with our true selves. This is by Celestine Maddie um, with Abby Churchill. This is a season to season guide uh, for getting in touch with nature. I really love how this is set up into the different seasons. And this includes all sorts of things inside. Like it really is a very diverse book. Each section, each season that it has is um, split up into growing, cooking, home and self-reliance, beauty and healing, and wilderness. You'll find everything in here from how to make elderflower champagne, how to safely observe a solar eclipse, how to create a night blooming garden, that sounds so lovely, a primer on composting, how to make herbal tinctures, the list goes on. This is just absolutely gorgeous. There's even a primer on healing crystals in here, which I think is fabulous give you a little guide of just some basics about some crystals. Beautiful gift for someone who loves DIYs and just is into, you know, nature, getting outside, being more in touch with nature, who loves plants, and is interested in living a natural lifestyle. The next one, I guess, is technically a self-help book. This is by Gabrielle Bernstein, also known as Gabby Bernstein, and uh, it's called The Universe Has Your Back, Transform Fear to Faith. I went through a lot of difficult changes this year and, you know, Things are going to continue to change. Life always does. The only constant is that things change, right? And so I found her books to be extremely helpful this year and had to include this in this guide because I think this is a wonderful gift for anyone who might be going through basically anything in their life right now that's a little bit difficult. And uh, it really helps out if you are struggling with anxiety, you know, around change or just in anxiety in general. It touches on how to help change your thought patterns, change your frequency, the energy that you're putting out there into the universe, and trusting in the universe, as the title says. I think that Gabrielle is such an amazing woman and highly recommend any of her books, but especially this one. Speaking of amazing women, this next pick is uh, a absolute must for any women entrepreneurs that you know in your life. It is called In the Company of Women. Um, this is by Grace Bonney, the founder of Design Sponge, and this is a collection of 100 little mini interviews with women entrepreneurs, with small business owners. There are poets and writers and tattoo artists and musicians, interior designers, potters, woodworkers, you name it jewelers. I mean, there are so many amazing stories in here. And as someone who has been dabbling in small business myself for the past few years, I loved this so much. And it is something that I will flip through again and again to get inspiration. I think this is such a wonderful choice if you want to give this to anyone who is trying to pursue their passion, which everyone should be in my opinion. Um, gift this to yourself if you are trying to pursue your passions and chase your dreams, I highly encourage you to pick this up and have a read and just recharge your energy from what these women share in these pages. And yet another amazing woman, Estée Lalonde. I would recommend if you know anyone in your life who is a YouTuber or who is a fan of Estée, then they will want her book. Her new book, Bloom, Navigating Life and Style, came out maybe a month ago or so. I just read this myself about a week ago, thoroughly enjoyed it. I've been following her on YouTube for years and find her to be such an inspiration. She shares in this book a lot of things that she hasn't shared on her channel and that's one of the reasons I really wanted to read it. I'm always interested in the backstories that make up a person, you know, the path that they've traveled to arrive where they are. It is part memoir, part beauty and style tips. There's even a few recipes in the back. I particularly enjoyed the parts where she really shares some, you know, raw things about anxiety and just pushing through fear. Um, 
you know, you're going to have fears in life, but she really shows that you can push through them and achieve great things. This next book makes a great gift for any lady in your life. This is the 52 Lists for Happiness book, and this is a weekly journaling inspiration for positivity, balance, and joy. This is by Morea Seal. I believe I'm saying that right. And she did a similar one last year called the 52 Lists Project, which I have been filling out all year and absolutely loved it. This one was more of a year of weekly journaling inspiration just in general, but this one is all about bringing positivity, balance, and joy. As I mentioned, a gorgeous, gorgeous cover with that coppery foil finish and a beautiful back too. So the four sections are reflect, acknowledge, invest, and transform. Just to give you an example, a couple of these lists are list the greatest compliments and encouragement you have ever been given, list the things you are really good at, list the people who make you feel happy, list the compliments you want to give to others, list the spaces in your life you would like to create more order and organization in, list every color you can think of and what mood you associate with each color, uh, list the movies and books and TV shows that make you feel happy, list the things you're curious about. So things like that to get you journaling each week. This next one is also a journal. I think journals make wonderful gifts for coworkers, sisters, friends. This is Flora Forager. I've been following her account on Instagram for over a year and I'm just obsessed and was so excited when she turned her beautiful creations into a journal. So this is a seasonal journal collected from nature and she creates these images all from petals and leaves and buds and twigs and all sorts of things that she finds outside and just amazing little images. And so throughout this journal, there are, as you can see, little pictures of her creations to help inspire you as you journal. This one's obviously for spring. I think that is so amazing. You should definitely follow her on Instagram. I'll put a link to that down below. And I think this is such a gorgeous journal. And the last book in this gift guide is called Scandinavian Gatherings by Melissa Bahn. I think I'm saying that correctly. Um, from Afternoon Fika, Fika to Midsummer Feast, 70 Simple Recipes and Crafts for Everyday Celebrations. Um, I absolutely adore this book. I do have a little bit of Scandinavian heritage and we grew up with a couple of um, Swedish traditions in my household, even though I have no idea how to pronounce most Swedish words, unfortunately. I just love the end pages in this book. Isn't that so cute? This book is full of projects and recipes, such as Nordic Brunch, Woodland Tea Party, Midsummer Feast, Heritage Dinner, Christmas Eve Supper, Birthday Treats, Christmas Cookie Exchange, a lot of wonderful treats. I am obsessed with these teacup terrariums. I think they're so cute. And that is part of the Woodland Tea Party section. I grew up with a lot of these wooden horses called uh, Dala Horses or Dala Hests in my house. We had a lot of blue ones and red ones. Beautiful cookbook slash DIY craft book uh, with a Scandinavian bend to it. I think it's absolutely gorgeous and would highly recommend it. All right, so that is all for this gift guide. I hope that you really enjoyed that. I hope that you got some inspiration and ideas for um, people on your shopping list and perhaps even a few that you might pick up for yourself. Thanks so much for watching. Subscribe if you wanna see more videos. I will have another gift guide coming up soon, one that focuses on beauty items, natural beauty. I will see you in my next video. Bye.